Hello and welcome. This is Today in the News. Here are the highlights. Gunmen kill two traditional rulers in Imo. Lagos answers panel and sitting one year after inauguration. Sonwolu receives funny portrait of himself. Oyo Assembly approves Governor Makide's request to access 18.7 billion naira. The Imo State Police Command has confirmed the death of two traditional rulers after yet to be identified gunmen opened fire on them. The traditional rulers were having a stakeholders meeting at the council headquarters at Inen Nasa in Njabi local government area of the state when the Kudlam struck. The monarchs who lost their lives were Eze E.A. Durubure, Obi Wan of Okwodo, and Eze Samson Osunwa of Iyembonwere Autonomous Community. It was also learnt that some of the traditional rulers were left with broken heads and hands. The Lagos Judicial Panel on SARS-related abuses has ended its tenure after sitting for a full year since its inauguration on October 19 last year. The Doris Okobe-led panel awarded 23 more petitioners the sum of 148.2 million naira as compensations for various brutalities they suffered at the hands of police officers, including illegal killings of their loved ones, harassments and arrests. The panel awarded 10 million naira each to 12 families after it found merit in their petitions against the police for the extrajudicial killings of Michael Owocho, Fatayo Gunshae, Ismaila Akpapo, Mustafa Maruf, Ikechuku Iliamozo, Yusuf Omole, among others. Other petitioners were given various awards ranging from 500,000 naira to 5 million naira. But the panel refused compensation to the widow of the last malfisha, Roti Madeyemo, who was killed on duty by a SAS officer. Meanwhile, Lagos State Governor Babajide Sawolu on Tuesday received Taiwo Shinowo, also known as Boda Tae Oniyakuya, who did a funny painting of the governor and posted it on his Instagram page. The post got a reaction from the governor and thereafter invited him. The governor received the painting at the Lagos Youth Symposium event, which was held at the LTV Blue Roof Agidingbe Keja. Speaking at the event, Brother Tai said he got a lot of funny messages warning him not to go and meet the governor, but is happy the governor he met is a good and humble one. The Oyo State House of Assembly has given Governor Shai Makinde the go-ahead to access 18.7 billion naira federal government bridge facility meant to cushion the effect of COVID-19 pandemic in the state. The request was contained in a letter forwarded to the state legislature by Governor Shai Makinde and read during a plenary session by the Speaker Honorable Adebo Gundoin. The lawmakers in their comments on the request agreed that such loan facility from the federal government was necessary and timely as many states recorded huge loss during the pandemic. President Buhari had approved a bridge facility for all the 36 states of the federation which is meant to be accessed from the central bank of Nigeria.